Hi, and welcome to the Buffalo Bills pregame show for week 14 against the New York Jets. So, top story for this week, the Bills are in first place, which I'm very happy about. However, I don't know how long it will last. Uh, the Bills need to win out, simply put. Um, the Chiefs are only playing the Broncos, Raiders, Seahawks, and Texans for the rest of the year. Does that really spell losses? I don't think so. So the Bills need to win out in order to secure home field advantage throughout the playoffs, starting with this game against the Jets. Um, you know what? We lost to the Jets last time. Uh, I think we thought they were an easy team. This time we're going to go in respecting the team way more. Um, offensively, uh, Josh Allen needs to not turn the ball over like he did last game. Mistake-free football, which I think is already being helped from the last few victories we had, where we're doing a lot more running way more balanced offense the last few weeks than we saw against the Jets. Um, I hope we continue that way. Um, it's really a time of possession game. We want to keep the ball as long as possible because uh, that's what the Jets did against us. They kept running it down our throats. We'll get to that. Um, they kept running it down our throats, and that's why we weren't able to win. So hopefully this time the offense can keep the ball just quite frankly longer. Um than the Jets, and I think that will help secure the victory. On the defensive side of the ball, we got a lot going on there. Um, first off, Mike White is starting. Um, if you've seen any former videos on this channel, you know that I'm a Mike White fan. I thought that he should have been in the conversation with Josh Allen during the 2018 draft as one of the top prospects. He was not. He, got, he drafted fifth, fifth round to the Cowboys um, and was very much overlooked. And I think the NFL is realizing that Mike White should not have been overlooked at all. Um, they're going with him one more week at least. Um, last year, the Bills ended his season essentially with those four picks in that game. I'm hoping for a repeat this year, even though I do like the kid. Um, fun fact, um, Jordan Poyer, uh, we've won with him. He really is our MVP. And what I mean by that is each time we've been out, including that Jets game, the Bills have lost the game. Jaquan Johnson is not a good fill-in for uh, Jordan Poyer, and, and neither is uh, Cam. So, overall, the Bills have a great have great corners uh, with Tre'Davious White back, and now with uh, Dane Jackson and Kyir Elam. I think the secondary and Poyer, like I already mentioned, the secondary is fairly secure. And I look forward to seeing them do a good job against Mike White in this game. Uh, the Bills have signed A.J. Klein back to help secure that linebacker position, just to give uh, Drain Edmonds and uh, Matt Milano a break from time to time. They both have had injuries throughout the season. So uh, now I think we have a good backup to go in again. And you know what? I know Von Miller's out, but I think the D-line stepped up quite a bit in his absence, um, just like Von Miller did in their absence. So it's a lot of teamwork. Again, all team wins here. And I think that's the best thing for the Buffalo Bills going forward. So my score prediction for this game, even though the, the Jets are a really good defense, I am going to say the Bills will win the game 27-10. to 10. Yes, I think the Bills are going to stop Mike White. Um, I think they're going to Use his inexperience. I know Mike LaFleur is probably going to want to run the ball some more, but I think Mike White's going to want to pass, so there's going to be some conflict there. And I kind of see the Bills being able to stop Mike White for the most part. Um, he's a gunslinger still, and I think they're going to be able to figure him out. And I think we're going to get a turnover, and that's where the score is going to um, – that's why this could be such a large score differential. But I think it's going to be a close game throughout the game. I don't think it's an easy win. I think those that, like – it could be neck and neck until the fourth quarter, and then the Bills get a couple easy scores from a couple Mike White interceptions. So um, that's what I think. I'm very curious what you have to say or think about this game. Um, leave it in the comments below. I'd love to read them and get back to you as to what this game will be. And don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel on the way out the door. And next week we'll be back for Week 15 against the Miami Dolphins. Thanks so much for watching the video, and take care.